Good morning, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to walk you through getting set up with um, the LED fade code and primarily not so much the code aspect of things, but how to, to actually set up Tinkercad circuits and, and get this going here. So um, when we run into Tinkercad, you're going to start off in 3D designs, but you want to click circuits on the side. Then you can create a new circuit. I just kind of created this thing here. Um, and first of all, the, the file names that come up are like super odd with this. So one of the first things we really want to do is change our file name. So up top here, it says um, sizzling turning, turning. I'm going to change that to be fade and just rename that. Um, along here, we have our components. We have basic. We also have some, some stuff down here. Basic is really what we want to begin with. Um, and we can grab an Arduino Uno, and we can drop that in place here. Okay. We could connect up a LED to this directly. We also can bring a breadboard into the, to the mix. Okay. And... The breadboard is cool because we can actually like start to set this thing up, get some um, some wire set up here. We're going to set up a black wire for our ground. We're going to set up a red wire for our hots. And then we're also going to connect this down to like, let's say, five volts here. Again, we'll change that to be a red wire. And then you have your ground wire, which we will come around. OK. So I just set that up there quick. All right, so um, from here, we can start to go up and set up our LED itself. So if we do a search, you can find it pretty easily. But if we do a search and we type in LED, these are the LEDs that come up. We have a basic LED, which is what we're going to be using here. We're going to have an RGB LED, which we might continue our assignment from before we left um, utilizing this later on. We also have some like NeoPixels, which would be cool to use later on as well. So we're just going to grab the LED itself. Okay. And we can change that LED color if we want to, but for right now, um, we're going to grab a resistor. Okay. And I'm going to grab my resistor and I'm going to connect it between ground and there. Um, and now we can connect a wire from the positive leg of this, okay, which is going to be like our, our connection to digital IO 11 or any PWM pin would be fine. We'll set that up. And, um, then we can go through and let's just start by coding like a simple system here, right? And you can do blocks if you want. I'm just going to do text. I'm just going to turn the LED on, make sure things are wired right. Um, and actually, it's already set up for kind of like a basic blank thing. So instead of just being my 13 as my output, I'm going to change this to be 11. I'm going to digitally write 11 high, 11 low. And uh, let's see if we can get the LED to turn on. I'm a little concerned about the fact that this LED doesn't seem like it's plugged in here. So. It would seem that that's true because it's not lighting up. So if we go back, I'm just going to delete this LED. I don't really know what happened there. So let's just try and drop in a new one. There we go. Now both are plugged in. Now we start our simulation, turns on, and it turns off. OK, so this is just digital right. Now we'd go through the fade code. All right, and the reality is, is because I have my power directly connected to pin um, 11, 
I don't technically need this red wire in here right now, power. Okay, the reality is, is that we don't technically need the breadboard at all. It's probably a good um, idea to start using one at this point because A, it helps us with that process, but it also just gets us ready for more complex things later on. But we can just go through and connect the system up directly. And again, I would definitely change all of your um, your colored wires. You know, I mean, technically that's a data wire, so green would be okay, I suppose. Um, this is a ground wire, so it should definitely be black. I will be um, definitely looking at your wire colors here because everything that's black or that's going to ground should be black. Everything that's going to five volts should be red. Um, we specifically have like all the options that we want, so it doesn't really matter. You can just go through and set your wire. So again, because this is a data wire, it can be something other than black or, or red. Again, my light's turning on and off. So hopefully this will help you guys get started setting up your LEDs so that um, you can continue with the fade code from there. Uh, make sure to check out the video that I sent out for you yesterday and uh, email me with any questions. All right, good luck, guys. Bye-bye.